you start whistling? Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 4. Last time we left off. Free paper to newcomers. Who's really in control of Diamond City? Read the public. <laughs> they spell public with a K. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. I'm glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. Gonna be like that, huh? Haha. <laughs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview, got me? Piper. You ready for sure, the let's do the interview, I suppose. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Hell. Mm. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The woman out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. Gotta make my job hard for me, huh? <laughs> All right. If that's the quote, that's the quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I don't know. No one ever does. That's what makes them so scary. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Get revenge. Find who's responsible and make them pay. Simple as that. I'll take anger over apathy any day. Good quote. Thanks, Blue. That's everything. Uh. It's gonna take <laughs> some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh yeah. She was just hey, saying Piper. she agreed to come with us. Way? I won. Yeah. Uh. Piper. I really wanna. I'm getting a PC soon, so I really do want to do a modded playthrough of Fallout soon. It has been, you know, a month. Sure, let's go. But if there were mods, I'd be playing this game like crazy. <laughs> I play this game with mods, and it's so much more fun. Time for you to head home, Sanctuary Hills. Okay. Uh. What has seen better days? Hello? <laughs> the screwdriver's seen better days? What? I ain't telling you how to pick Anyone is one of those things. I like how three people's dialogue just triggers at the same time and you can't hear anyone. Everyone else may be Epic. I'll take a look. Sure. Do we have things to sell? We don't need this bat. Pipe pistol seems pretty. We don't even have any 38 ammo. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> sea captain sat. Okay. Water and goggles. That's pretty nerdy. Okay, it looks stupid. I feel like I should keep the sea captain hat. The fedora is kind of lame, but I should keep it anyway, I feel like. If anything else to sell. Okay, I suppose we could probably use most of this for crafting. Oh, wow. You're tall. Oh, wow, you're tall. Okay. Do you have anything I can buy, actually? A sail and brooms. That's... That's a really sweeping sail. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Okay, let's... Let's pretend. I didn't say anything, please. Let's just... Let's just move on. Um, I could use really all types of ammo. Jeez. <laughs> it's so much for 10 millimeter. Jesus. I must have a terrible barter or something. That's 108 for 18 rounds. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district. That's mm -mm -mm. Where should we go first? Stay clear, Maybe we should talk. Oh, I want to go to the combat zone, actually. I'm level four. I might get destroyed. Um, I kind of want to do the, uh, kind of want to go check and see if we can do the sanctuary quest now. <clears throat> you hello? Ask me. Hello? Man's hello? Always worth fighting for. Okay. Yeah. This is forever glitch, <clears throat> apparently. Well, hmm. Well, apparently these missions are just not going to happen. So, instead. I might honestly explore around here, because I don't know about doing Diamond City missions. They might be a tad bit too advanced. But I don't know, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest. For some reason, I don't have my pistol. Ah, on the hotkey. I don't have a hotkey. So we're just gonna explore around a little bit. Obviously, I already discovered that place. I probably should have dropped my junk. But we have plenty of room for now. Whoa. Holy crap. Uh, we best not mess with those people. Those aren't people. Those are not people. Did I just... What? Oh my god. <laughs> those people. Jesus. Well, okay. Over here is one of the Minuteman quests. But... But we can do it without actually talking to the Minutemen. And then hopefully, in the future, uh, I can get uh, Preston unglitched. I'm not even sure what you do with Brahmin hide. I mean, leather. Probably makes leather. Ooh, a little cave. Have we explored this? I don't think so. Is that a grenade? What is that? Oh, it's a wrench. <laughs> oh, man. Got a little mole rat then, apparently. Oh, golly gee. Oh, golly gee. I'm about to get a radiate, are not I? Are not I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. Lou, we're not alone here. No, really. I, I killed two of them and we're not alone, really? Wow. 
Wow, you're real smart. Wow. Okay. What? what? Femur. Femur. I think I'll pass on the femur. Glowing fungus, yes. Seems very intelligent to pick up the glowing fungus off the floor. Ew. Brain fungus. Ooh, even smarter. Yes, yes. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to munch on this later. Well. Pipe pistol, okay. Ooh, fusion core. 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 Okay. Hey, take that boy. Take that boy. Oh golly. Oh golly gee. My crit meter filled up. Gives you automatic crit. Any body part. How? Come on. <laughs> Struggling on the novice lock, man. Sweet. Fuse. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, yeah. So basically, your companions like and dislike certain actions. Like opening locks. Oh, there's the broom he was talking about. Is it not? Sure. <clears throat> what was I saying? Um. Yeah, basically your companions like certain things, so some companions like it if you uh, unlock, if you pick locks and stuff, and some people hate it if you kill other people, things of that sort, depending on the kind of character, companion you adopt, to say. <laughs> I don't like these things. They're kind of hard to hit. They're always like flying around like a motherfucker. I mean, there are blue flies. They do fly around. <clears throat> That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Peaceful farm. It's okay. I'm friendly. If you say so, but be warned, we're out. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. <clears throat> Gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Yes. And no. It's... A long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're weak. So stop crying about it and stand up for yourself. Lady. You must be new to these parts. You don't stand up to raiders. Not if you value your life. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. She deserved it. Ooh, for There's real. nothing worse than losing a child. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I couldn't imagine what it'd be like to lose someone that close to me. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. <clears throat> don't worry. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Okay, it automatically starts the mission. For the Minutemen, I guess. So, that's cool. Basically, I think I can just tell him that I 
did him. If he ever unglitches, but probably not. Probably won't. Okay. Uh. Okay. So we have to go this way. I could steal from them, but Piper wouldn't like that of it. Uh. Obviously, I don't know. <laughs> He's kind of a goody two shoes character. I might have to get in a more evil character or companion to follow me around. It's nice. We didn't even uh, explore this entire area, so might come to the back to that a little bit later, but. I don't think we did. This gives you well, ceramic. Could out a good use for it. I'm not exactly sure how useful it is, but... Sleeping in beds refills health. And in a uh, survival mode, you have to do it to save. Can't, like, there's no auto saves and stuff. So I'm gonna take a rat away, and then sleep. And my health should be full. Yep, look. Delicious. Okay. I'm not sure how high of a level we have to get to to be able to do the DLC. Hopefully, like, only level, like, 15 or so. I think there is, like, a level uh, floor, like, for the Nuka Cola DLC or whatever it's called. I don't know about the other ones, but I would suppose so. I would assume so. But yeah, I definitely want to do those before I beat the game. Because I feel like it's more fun that way than beating the game and then the only thing you have left to do is the DLCs. The Far Harbor DLC had a bunch of puzzles which are just kind of annoying. It'd be great if you could just skip them. So stupid, I hate that. I hate puzzles in video games. It's like, leave me alone, bro. I'm just trying to have fun and you're making this a chore. <laughs> I kind of want to just, I kind of just want to, you know, we, <coughs> excellent, <laughs> excellent, there have been no shooty shootings. There have been no shooty shootings in this game yet. I have to make it into that pool, bro. Like, it's it's gonna happen. Pool! I just called her a pool. Come on, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It just, I think it just said your level of stealth is affected by your clothes, lines of sight, stuff like that. I didn't know your clothes could affect it. That's weird, okay. Would have never guessed. Okay. <laughs> this idiot savant is the best thing ever. And the most annoying at the same time. Oh my god. It's mole rats that just blow up. Still have that crit. Permit crit. <sighs> Chill. Oh, I thought it was gonna die. Ooh, no scope. Me trying to aim as a travesty. Me trying to aim as game is just unpleasant to watch. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Uh... It's called shooting straight, rookie. Oh, he's up. He's up here. You can see in the little mini compass. That it points up, which tells you that the raider's up here. Oh. Holy crap. That's just the beginning. Now we gotta go inside. Fight the rest of the raiders. I just sold that. <clears throat> Jeez, I didn't think it was gonna take that much health. I didn't think I was gonna take any health early. <laughs> um. I think you get a food sanitizer. Oh yeah, from the Brohos steel. So I could do that soon, after this maybe. And you get a uh, old faithful, I believe it's called, which is a laser rifle. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, okay. I imagine it'll die, but... Okay, fine. <laughs> Can you see a damn thing? Y y yeah. I mean, I can turn on the light. I can see perfectly fine. Blowtorch. It'd be awesome if you could actually just use that. Oh my gosh. The terminal's gotta be somewhere. Hmm, it's this. Can you... Hey, I don't think you can do this. Too good. Can Go you... Go check that out. That doesn't that? seem like a great idea. Uh -huh. I think it's a. Uh, oh, that requires a terminal. But I think the person who can. He's not technically a person, but. Ah. Uh, what's his name? Something Valentine. Nick Valentine. What the heck? I thought I hit you. Hello, sensitivity? Hello? But uh, Nick Valentine can basically. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is normal for other journalists. But, oof. Basically, Nick. Nick. Hello, oh, oh, I have no ammo. But basically, Nick Valentine can uh, pick like advanced locks. Maybe very advanced. I don't know if that's even a thing. I don't remember what they're called. It's been a little bit since I played this game. Minus this playthrough. Even this playthrough has been a month, but... <laughs> Good old month break. Me, huh? This game is... This game is so much better with mods, though. Cannot wait. Get a PC and mod the crap out of this game. No sign of them now. Usually you can try to force the lock, I thought. Maybe it's because I have no lockpick skill, I can't, nice. I don't know. You sure know your way around a bobby pin. But I at least don't see the prompt. And I think if your lockpick's like maxed out, the novice one's like a 100% success rate. But otherwise you have a chance of it like breaking. You're a bobby pin. And the lock, I mean, even. What's this guy's name? Ak Ak? What an odd name. Oh my god. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, you can run faster with your weapon holster and fastest when sprinting. Well, no duh. No, I think you run faster if you walk. Oh my god. I just did the same thing. I was trying to throw him over- uh, I was trying to throw it over him again, and I failed again. But I didn't fail that hard this time. I didn't die. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it. Um... 
trying to th take things with about a five or so uh, return on investment. So one wait to about five value, although it doesn't actually convert to that because our barter is not very high. So the conversion rate is probably lower when you sell it. That's usually around the ratio I try to find. Maybe a little higher, about 10, maybe. I don't know. Depends. Oh my god, my health. <laughs> um. I might go with. Uh, some damage resistance. Oh my goodness. Huh. I'm gonna shoot the right arm so that. Oh. Oh, it walks in the fire. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Well, wow. that wasn't even that hard. If I didn't fail the first time. Yeah, we're definitely picking up that minigun. And we're gonna destroy some noobs real quick. Because I doubt we're going to use this very much, even. <laughs> we're going to end up using this on rad roaches, I believe. So I think that's the next thing coming out. Some rad roaches. Great. Can't wait. Um, The knuckles. Decent conversion rate. Not a good conversion rate there, but... But we'll pick it up anyway. To sell. Why not? Or, I think we have another uh, thingy thing thing. Do get a bob beep, bop beep, beep, boop. I don't even think there's anything interesting in here. Let me see if I can. Okay, it doesn't seem like I can force the lock. I'm not sure what's going on. Nice. I'm not even sure if there's mods on this. I think there is, but <laughs> just not external mods. That? Hopefully, it kills all the roaches. Found them and they do not look friendly. Well, yeah, they're. Rad roaches. <laughs> Hopefully there's something worthwhile in here. Yeah, take that. Late edition newspaper. Army hat. <clears throat> nice. I wasn't even that far off. I'm not sure why it broke so easily. Okay. Huh. Man, that guy is just charred. Oof, oof. Golly gee. Golly gee, golly gee. Okay. Aluminum can. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, you can you can stay there, buddy. I'm gonna leave you alone. I will not disturb you. Well, it seems like this is better than my helmet. So. So I'll put this on. Jesus Christ, that looked so stupid. <laughs> Overdue book. I mean, it's probably like 200 years overdue. Which, like, at this point, I wouldn't even try to return it, man. They're gonna, they're gonna charge you a decent, decent chunk, de some, some, some decent change for that. 200 year old book. I think that's everything except what's in that room, more or less. But I don't know if there's actually a way to get in that room without having the code. This is, oh wait, no, this is not the room I was talking about. It's around this corner. I don't remember if someone's carrying a code or not. It seems like it's, they're not, no one is. Oh, okay, we do get it. 
Okay, so we got a nuke. A mini nuke to shoot the mini nuke. Well, not to shoot the mini nuke, but you know. You know, you know, you know. Should be able to shoot the mini nuke at some point once we get a fat man, which is a mini nuke launcher. Hmm, bolt action sniper? I want an actual sniper. Not exactly sure what kind of character I even built. I think I might have made like, I think I made a Vats-ish heavy character-ish. <laughs> or at least that was my goal, I believe. But I might have kind of failed. But we can just upgrade our abilities anyway, so it's not a big deal either way. Because I wanted a lot, I wanted to snipe things a lot. Shoot heads off, sneak around, have a little fun. So that's about it. Now we go uh, collect our reward, I suppose. Go back to the farm. <laughs> I love how that, I like how Preston has never glitched for me. And like, I've played this quite a few times, quite a few times. I have like talked to Preston, done the mission and stuff. It's never glitched for me. That car is so ugly. What? Done the mission so many times. It's never glitched for me. But the one time, the one time I try to do a playthrough of it, of course it glitches. Of course it glitches. Of course it glitches. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So it might actually be a little bit harder to do all the Diamond City missions without the experience of doing at least a few Preston missions, but I don't know. We can probably just find where they're at and do them anyway. Here for work. Obviously we can. I've but got that locket back for you. I mean, there's some you can't really do. That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. Okay. Did I get any money? What crap is this? I hope you realize how much you did. I hope you realize how much you did. I hope you realize how much you know. I'm gonna grab these. Give me all tatos. Tato tomato. Okay, right here is where we're gonna leave a wow look at that oh my god I almost caught it rain. <laughs> look at that rain, wow. Oh man. Nice weather. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Okay, I'm gonna leave it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll try to make an episode before one month from now. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Boop beep pop beep boop beep pop.